Hi, this is Burton. I'm here for another fountain pen review. And today I've picked a fountain pen that is from the company Gem and Gem and Co. You can see Gem and Co here, which is actually based in Chennai. And very precisely, the store is located opposite to Madras High Court. And also another landmark is this store is very much closer to the church that is uh, extremely famous for St. Anthony's. People flock around this church every Tuesday. So if at all you want to visit the church and if at all you are a, a fountain pen lover, you can also visit this uh, particular store and pick one of the fountain pens. They have a wide range of fountain pens. They have a huge collection and they have fountain pens from 120 rupees to uh, 1200 rupees and even beyond that. You know, I have no idea. There are some wooden pens that cost more than 1500 rupees. So I have picked one of the gem and co fountain pen. So this is the model I have picked, which is actually the brand is actually V sign and I think Gamma is distributing. I have, I've already found a V sign brand of pens online and some of the V sign you know, imprinted pens also have uh, the name Bina in it. I wonder what is Bina and what is VSign, but still it says VSign, which is actually a flagship company. And above that, you can say you can see Gamma written. I think it is uh, very close for you to actually get the correct uh, image of it. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to. You know, the camera I use is not actually very precisely capturing the. The names written on the fountain pen so no problem so this is one of my first uh, video i should say i've already uploaded one video in my youtube channel so this should be the second uh, you know, full-fledged fountain pen review uh, video fine so this is how it looks it's a typical fountain pen no i'm sorry it's, it's a typical uh, hero pen model i should say because the pen just the you know the cap just comes out of the pen like this you don't have to screw it there is no screw there is no thread so you just have to put it uh, inside and just you have to press it you know you have to uh, cap the pen and you have to just press it all you have to do is just uh, <coughs> press it and then if you want to uh, uncap the pen you can just slide it you know and it just uncaps and you can see a uh, you know, a diamond shaped uh, ink window which is very nice that means that this uh, pen is, doesn't have a converter inside. So there is an ink window. So that means it doesn't have a converter. And you, can't, you, you won't be able to uh, no, remove the barrel from the section. Both the section and barrel is like one piece. You won't be able to remove. No, it, it is like one piece. So above which you have a beautiful ink, I mean, a uh, beautiful uh, nib, which is called iridium point. I'm a fan of uh, gamma. Uh, fountain pen nibs precisely. I have the belief that although it says V sign and some other brands here, uh, gamma pens are very much specialized, and the gamma pens have the I think they have a practice to you know, remove the nib and put another nib or something of that sort. Because uh, <clears throat> so. As, as I told you, this is actually a one piece. There is no particular uh, section between a section and the barrel. Oh, you can't unscrew and you can't uh, remove each other. So it's like one piece. And also above which you can see the nib, which is written on the nib, something like iridium point. I'm a fan of uh, uh, gamma fountain pen nibs. Because although it looks the same, although it says this is V sign, although it gives you an impression that it is actually collected from V sign and just imprinted the word called gamma over it, but still the nibs that gamma pens come with is of a high quality. I am guaranteed for that because I have used gamma pens in the past and I have compared gamma pens with other pens found, in, found with other retailers. But still, the nibs that Gamma pens come with is of a very high quality. So I can vouch for that. So I hope this nib also, also could be of very high quality. It gives some smooth strokes. I haven't tried it yet. It's just a brand new pen. 
I bought it some a fortnight ago. I want I was wanting to uh, first you know uh, do this unboxing video and just uh, then demonstrate the way how it uh, rides and etc and etc through another video or you know alongside with this video I can attach it and send it to you. No problem. So this is uh, this is how the pen looks. So the nib, you know, it's it's a very nice nib. So that is it's a very 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 nice nib I should say. I can't zoom in much and show you the details. I'm sorry for that. And the feed is also pretty, uh, you know, I should say it's 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 a very modern type of a feed. I think unlike the other feeds that we used to have, this feed is actually, I think. Uh, uh, it should be a modern type of a feed because I have seen this uh, Octane Classmate fountain pen which works with a cartridge also have a similar kind of a feed. Oh, you can see similar kind of a feed is there with a fountain. I can also put these images in the thumbnail so that you can have a nice picture of it, nice view of it. So both looks very much the same. But the nib is uh, different. So, yeah. Another pretty interesting thing about this pen is, as I already told you, you can't uh, separate the section and the barrel. Both are one, one piece. So how do you pour the ink? There is no provision to uh, fit in uh, you know, a cartridge or a converter. If that had to be the case, this section should have been a removable one. So that is not there. So how do you pour the ink is the question. So the V sign or gamma, whatever it is, has come up with a... Uh, this is not a very unique design or unique method. This has been the case with many pens as well. But in this range, this pen was uh, 250 rupees. So in this particular range, this this won't be the case this method that i'm going to demonstrate won't be the case you can see here you have to just unscrew this unscrew this small section you won't be able to unscrew it completely i also don't advise you to use this pen in the posted fashion because you can see this is actually a cap that is meant for just plugging in you're not screwing it so it means that there's a lots of uh, screw action or something you no know, some spring action should be there for it to comfortably slide in and just stay that way so if you go on post it you know in the other side which is a little bit broader than the section side it might relax the you know that uh, elastic or something of that sort i don't know the exact word it might relax that and uh, when you are actually wanting to cap the pen it would not work in the way it has to work so that is one thing that i don't advise you to use this pen with its in a, the, the posted fashion. Other than that, it's a very nice pen. I have not tried it. Uh, you know, I have not uh, written anything with this pen because I'm I have hardly poured any ink with this pen. I have not poured at all. I have not used it at all. So after I use this pen on the paper, I will post that video as well. Thank you very much. Bye bye. See you. Subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and share my videos to your friends as well. Look, looking forward to post several fountain pen reviews in future. Thank you. Bye bye. You can see it. You can just unscrew it, but you can't be able to remove this section completely. Don't ever try that <laughs> removing the section completely. It is not made for that. But you can nicely unscrew, and then you have to dip it in the ink, ink pot or ink bottle and just screw it. The ink gets sucked up. So that is the procedure. After uh, you know, drawing the ink inside, you can use a small uh, cloth dedicated for that to wipe off the you know ink that could be present on the uh, you know on the very nib and the smaller part of the section. And then you can start writing. It gives you an amazing experience. This is a pretty comfortable pen. You can use this pen unposted. So I am an Asian, precisely Indian. So my hand is a bit small when compared with my other European and American friends and counterparts. So for me, it is pretty comfortable, pretty, you know, 
you know i also use i also hold the you know pen you know in this particular uh, area of the section so i i just leave a small space in between the nib and the section and that is where i hold the pen so this is very comfortable for me let me show you what it you know uh, becomes once it gets posted yes so if i post this pen it is like a very huge pen and this is a metal and this is plastic so that the weight of the pen when it is posted is also very much high i think that won't be of uh, won't be a very good experience for writing yes that is about the font and then review i also don't advise you to use this pen in the posted fashion because you can see this is actually a cap that is meant for just plugging in you are not screwing it so it means that there is a lots of uh, screw action or something you know some spring action should be there for it to comfortably slide in and just stay that way so if you go on post it you know in the other side which is a little bit broader than the section side it might relax the you know that uh, elastic or something of a certain size, I don't know the exact word. It might relax that, and uh, when you are actually wanting to cap the pen, it would not work in the way it has to work. So that is one thing that I don't advise you to use this pen with its in a, the, the posted fashion. Other than that, it's a very nice pen. I have not tried it. Uh, you know, I have not uh, written anything with this pen because I'm I have hardly poured any ink with this pen. I've not poured at all. I have not used it at all. So after I use this pen on the paper, I will post that video as well. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you. Subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and share my videos to your friends as well. Look, looking forward to post several fountain pen reviews in future. Thank you. Bye-bye.